Now in this video, at the request of one of the channel's supporting members, I'm going to try an experiment. We're going to see what happens when we try and ferment two quarts of apple wine using a wild yeast starter that we created earlier. And in another two quart container, we're going to be using a commercial wine. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to find out what happens using a hydrometer. Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now then, to conduct our experiment to find out how well each of these yeasts will ferment, we need two two-quart containers of apple juice, 100% with no preservatives. We're going to be using about a half a cup of the wild wine yeast that we created in an earlier video using yeast created or produced from organic grapes. We're going to be using a Premier Coute des Blanc wine yeast from Red Star because of its low 14, I'm sorry, 12 to 14 percent alcohol tolerance. We're going to be using two one quart containers of sugar. We'll make adjustments so that the AVB or rather the hydrometer readings for both of them will be the same so we'll have an equal competition. We need two airlocks. We'll need the juice of half a lemon. That's two quarter wedges for each quart or two quart container and we'll be using a hydrometer to help us determine the results of our experiment and that's what I'm going to be using to make this experiment. Now the first thing I want to do of course is to open these up and pour off about a cup and a cup and a half of juice. We're putting in one cup of sugar, so I want to pour off at least one cup from one. And since we're adding half a cup of wild yeast, liquid wild yeast, we want to make this, bring this up to two and a half cups to make room for the yeast and the sugar. Next thing we want to do is add the sugar. Let's get the caps back on and let's give each one of these a vigorous shake to dissolve all of that sugar. Another aspect of mixing it up this way is that it incorporates some additional oxygen that the yeast is going to need. Now would be a good time to go ahead and add in our acidity by adding our lemon wedges. before moving on to adding our yeast. Starting with our wild yeast. It's close to being level.
looks like our starting gravity on our wild yeast ferment starter is going to be not bad. 1.080. Now then, so as not to skew the results, I just re-sanitized everything I had with uh, my sanitizer of current choice, which is Star Sands. And we'll take a reading off our commercial wine yeast. And looking at the reading, it does appear as if it's coming in at 1.080 as well. So it looks like we got equal starts to our starting gravity. Now we'll just find out how well it ferments over time. Okay, there we go. On the one hand, we have a wild yeast natural ferment. And then on the other hand, we have a commercial yeast natural ferment. Which one is going to outperform the other? Well, we'll find out over the next couple of weeks. After 24 hours, a closer look at our wild yeast. And a closer look at our commercial yeast. Okay, it's now been a week. Let's take another hydrometer reading to find out where things stand. Starting with our wild yeast. It's looking encouraging. All right. All right, with our wild yeast, it appears as if our hydrometer reading is going to be as smooth as where we can see it. It looks like the hydrometer reading for the wild yeast is coming in at 1.00. Double check that. 1.004. Okay, now after having rinsed out and properly sanitized our equipment, let's take a hydrometer reading of our commercial yeast. Let's see where we stand. All right, reading on our commercial yeast is coming in at 1.004. So at the present time, one week later, I'm looking at two identical readings. Hmm. It's now been two weeks, so let's take another reading starting with our wild yeast. All right, I've got a reading of 0.994. Now let's take another reading of our commercial yeast two weeks in. Well, now this is interesting. Looking at the odometer reading for our commercial yeast, we've got a reading of 0.998. So it looks like the wild yeast is outperforming the commercial yeast. Not by, not by much, but definitely, it's definitely has gone dry, whereas the commercial yeast is still working at it. Okay, so after two weeks, we had our results. Turns out that our Commercial wine yeast came in at 10.5% AVB using standard uh, calculation, calculations for AVB. And our wild yeast came in at 11.29%, which bested our commercial yeast. Uh, as an experiment, of course, if you want to give it a try, your results may vary. <laughs> but uh, with 11.29%, I can't say that's uh, turned out bad at all. It's well worth the effort. So again, if you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe button. Becoming a member would also be helpful. Also, becoming a Patreon member would also uh, lend support to this channel. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.